Praise the Lord, beautiful people of God. This morning's devotion is entitled Pride and Deception by Carol Hung. Hear the word of the Lord this morning. The pride of your heart has deceived you. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 3. Loving God, thank you for your gentle nudging correction. With my shoulders slumped, I murmured those difficult words. I have been so arrogant, thinking I could do it all on my own. For months, I had been enjoying successful work projects, and the accolades lulled me into trusting my capabilities and rejecting God's leading. It took a challenging project for me to realize I was not as smart as I thought. My proud heart had deceived me into believing that I did not need God's help. The powerful kingdom of Edom received discipline from God for its pride. Edom was located amid mountainous terrain, making her seem invulnerable to enemies. Edom was also a wealthy nation, situated at the center of strategic trade routes and rich in copper, a highly valued commodity in the ancient world. It was full of good things, yet also full of pride. Its citizens believed their kingdom was invincible, even as they oppressed God's people. But God used the prophet Obadiah to tell them of his judgments. Nations would rise up against Edom, and the once powerful kingdom would be defenseless and humiliated. Pride deceives us into thinking we can live life on our terms without God. It makes us feel invulnerable to authority, correction, and weakness. But God calls us to humble ourselves before him as we turn from our own pride and choose repentance. God will guide us toward total trust in him. Our reflection for today. What happens when blessings in your life become sources of pride? How can pride deceive you? Let us pray. Gracious God, protect me from pride. Please give me a humble heart. Amen. Once again, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Please pass this devotion to five new people and encourage them to subscribe as well. God bless you and you have a great day.